As our story begins, Hugo kicks off a new reskilling program to become a cloud architect. Based on his previous network experience and a few assessment tests, Hugo is greeted with a personalized My Skills portal. This is where his learning journey begins. Hugo dives into one of his weakest skills, Azure IoT. He starts by browsing the Azure carousel and launches a PDF guide. It's helpful, but long, so he decides to save it to a playlist for later. Next, Hugo filters the carousel to find a video tutorial. He spends a few minutes on remote monitoring and decides to give it four stars so other learners can benefit from his feedback. While saving his comments, Hugo notices a discussion button. He decides to check out what other learners have said about the video. Over time, Hugo builds a playlist of his favorite Azure IoT resources. He likes it so much, he decides to share it with his peers. While he is in the playlist view, Hugo browses playlists from other learners and finds a couple that look helpful. Just then, Hugo gets a ping from his phone that it's time to catch a train for another meeting. Before he leaves, he flags a few resources for offline viewing so he can access them while on the go. While offline on the train, Hugo views the Azure IoT resources he flagged earlier. When he gets back online at the office, Hugo receives credit for completing the offline activities in MySkills. He also earns more points. After the meeting, Hugo browses several real-time briefings to explore the latest trends in Azure IoT. He loves that they are continually updated by the MySkills AI curation engine. Hugo finds an article of particular interest and likes it, so he can easily jump to it later on. He also shares the article with another learner. He may not realize it, but both of these actions raise the profile score of the article, causing the AI curation engine to recommend it more often. AI is powerful. Hugo notices that over time, the articles keep getting better and more relevant. He enjoys the variety of trusted sources and eagerly anticipates newly curated articles every day. Hugo reads a recent curated article and it sparks an idea for a possible workplace improvement. Excited to share, he uses the Ask a Mentor feature to connect with a course mentor. Just then, the commuter train arrives at his destination. Hugo decides to pick up his studies later at home. After dinner, Hugo retreats to his home office and sees a new nudge email from the learning engagement system. It was triggered by Ashish, one of the course mentors who saw Hugo's earlier message. Ashish says he's intrigued by Hugo's idea and that he's currently online. He suggests they meet in the collaborative lab to work together. Hugo navigates to a collaborative lab activity in the IoT competency he was studying earlier. A remote Azure IoT development environment opens, along with a collaboration portal and lab guide. He uses the collaboration portal to launch an instant live meeting with Ashish and shares more details so about his new idea in a live video chat. Hey, you know, the program sends data every 20 seconds to Azure, and that seems very excessive to me since Microsoft. Then he shares his screen and writes code in the virtual lab with Ashish's guidance. The next day, Hugo is feeling more confident with Azure IoT and decides to test his skills in a graded lab activity. He uses the lab's code validator to check his work as he goes. Hugo enjoys the automated feedback and feels comfortable in the fail-safe environment. This is really a nice solution. I really like what you prototype. Ashish is impressed with Hugo's technical skills and creativity. He suggests that Hugo share his new IoT program with his boss, the director of development. But first, Ashish recommends that Hugo practice his communication skills so he can make a good impression. Hugo closes the collaborative lab and opens the Propose Your Idea video assessment activity. He reads the activity instructions, views the scoring rubric, and then confirms that his video camera and microphone are on. He starts the activity by watching a prompt video, which shows a scenario where a manager asks for workplace improvement ideas. After the prompt, Hugo records a video response that explains his IoT idea. I can write a program that will, you know, um, like batch the IoT monitoring data. Hugo submits his video for feedback and scoring. 
then notices that he can give peer feedback for videos submitted by other learners. He watches one of these videos and provides feedback, which is timestamped to the video. Later, Hugo returns to the activity and finds peer feedback for his own video. Hugo is very happy with his progress in the program and is excited to become a cloud architect. 